In this video, I will show you how you can build a chatbot inside of your Lovable website. So this website will be available to everyone who's watching this video. You can find it in the description below. You can copy it to your Lovable account and you can follow along while I will show you how you can do that everything. And by the end of this video, you will have a chatbot on your website and your personal portfolio website that will book calls for you, that will tell people about your services. And yeah, and you will also have this beautiful website that is great and SEO optimized. They can publish and have uh, talk about your services, talk about uh, your description and all of those good stuff. So yeah. Basically, why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people still use Framer. And if you're not familiar with Lovable, I believe this is much more better than Framer. If I go to my Lovable account, you can see that I have built many, many different websites with Lovable that looks really premium, that doesn't look like a standard uh, website. It has all of the different interactions, animations. Uh, it has a video in the background, as you can see here. It looks really good and the best part about building a lovable website is that you don't really need to optimize them like i built this website probably in less than an hour just by typing stuff in the chat and i used to spend more than a few days to just design and build this today i don't really need to spend that much time because i can have everything done here and then once i finish designing i can just type in the chat like uh Anything that I want here, like remove some sections, add new sections following this design style. Before in Framer, if you had one page and you wanted to add a second page, you would go and you start creating, go in Figma, start designing in Figma. Here I can just type create a home page or create an about us page, basically following the same stuff. So yeah, basically if you're not familiar with Lovable, I would highly suggest go ahead and try to learn it. It's not just Lovable, bold, and uh, like a bolt new or whatever create anything all of these platforms like this they have the same stuff you can do the same stuff basically why, why i'm doing this in lovable because i have a lot of credits and yeah that's why i can do that you can use whatever platform you want i'm not sponsored by lovable and i'm not affiliated with them in any way but i do have templates that if you want you can check that out in the description so yeah let's start building our chatbot I'm going to open this website, which you can find a link in the description. And the first thing that you would need to do is actually connect it to a Superbase account. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, what I need to do is just click on this and connect to Superbase. So I'm going to pause it and once I connect it, I'll come back. As you can see, it took me like a minute to connect Superbase and now I have that. I need that because in order to make our chatbot work, we need to connect it to an open AI's API or any other into artificial intelligence that you have for us to be able to do that we need super base and yeah so that's what i did and now we just need to add a circle here that would cause the chatbot to open and to talk with it and yeah we need something that is designed very well similar to our website you see this website is like a really premium website compared to like a general ai built websites if i go to the community here and if I go like, this is like the best, this is the top and they look very average. So for example, if I look at this one, this looks very average. And this is how a lot of AI website look like, especially like if we look something like this, looks really average. And uh, if you can build something that looks at least a little bit like this, you can be, you'll be way ahead of other people. And uh, yeah, so let's just add our chatbot here. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say um, I want to add a chatbot to our website. Create a interface with a circle. Once they click on it, open a pop-up or more like a typical chatbot interface at the bottom left of the screen if you know what i mean and let's just type that after i'll connect to ai now just design it so yeah let's just send it and see what it does this is what we've got so there is a circle that stays fixed whenever i scroll and let's see how it looks on mobile so we have this circle and once we click on this, we have a chat assistant, which currently is not supposed to work. So if I say hello, as you can see, it does answer, 
but I assume it does not really have like if I say cat. Yeah, it's just a pre-programmed message. So what we need to is connect OpenAI's API, and I'm gonna say using edge fun functions, functions connect a open AI's API using GPT-5 or whatever. I don't gonna specify later. Choose is an API function connect open AI API. API uh, ask me for a secret key below and configure everything to work. And let's see what it answers. To copy OpenAI's API, you would want to go to platformopenai.com and then click on API keys. In here, you can create a new secret key. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to create it. And then I'm going to go back to Lovable. And here in Lovable, it says, I'll help you connect chatbot to Open's AI API using edge functions. And then you'll enter your secret key here. Never put it here or never show it to anybody because then it's got, someone is going to steal it and use all of your credits. By the way, uh, this is paid, so you have to have some money on OpenAI's API platform. But if you want to use it for free, I believe, and I'm pretty sure that Gemini is free. So go ahead and, and use Gemini's Google's API for this. It will work absolutely the same way. So I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to submit. And now it's going to configure everything and I'm going to unpause it once it is done its job. As you can see, it says it implemented it, so let's test it. And let's say, hello, hello, how much is it? And let's see what it does. Thanks for your message. I'll be able to provide better responses once connected to AI. Let's refresh it and see if it does connect it to the AI or something is configured wrong, which might be the case. So let's say, how much is the website? And yeah, it is not connected yet. So let's say it doesn't look like it is connected to AI since it provides uh, template responses. And let's see what it answers. It says, I'll fix the input. So sending triggers the AI call, press enter to click send. Okay, let's do that. So let's say, how much is the website with five pages? And now we can see that there is some kind of typing going on. But it says, sorry, I'm having trouble connecting right now. Please try again later. So let's let's go and says, this is what I get as a response. It doesn't look like it's connected to open AI. Please fix it. Seems like it finally found a problem. So let's say what's, uh, let's refresh it one more time. And uh, as you can see, it does take some credits to debug it, but I think this is what it takes to build an age of AI in the early stages, right? Of website. And let's see if this is, if it was enough to fix it or sorry, it has a still trouble. So yeah, um, let's say if, if we don't fix still, there's the same error. If we don't, or if you don't fix it, I will be fired and my family will suffer, suffer very much. Let's see if it does help. It doesn't look like it fixed the issue. It just says that I'll fix the error handling and for confirm the connection. I check the edge functions logs. And now instead of the generic fallback, please try sending a message again. If there's any issues, you'll now see AI error with the exact reason. So let's say, hello, let's start very simple. And error occurred, too many requests. Maybe that's the, because I don't have any money on OpenAI account. Let me figure out, let me check that. Yeah, that is true. So. I'll add some money and then it should be fixed very quickly. Okay, we have $6. That would be enough for a few months of testing. Honestly, like I think even more. Um, so yeah, now let's uh, refresh the page and try to see if it figures out the error or if it stay persistent. Okay, so let's say hello. Hello. And let's see what it responds. Hello, how can I assist you today? What's is the price of a five-page site. 
Let's see what it answers. The price of a five page website can vary widely based on. So you see, now we need to give it specific instructions about our business, about what we do. And for that, I'm going to go to perplexity because this is the AI that I'm always using. If you're using OpenAI, you would, you want to go there and you want to type, give me a summary of myself based on everything you know about my web design business. This is for a context awareness of a chatbot that I'm going to place place on my website. It is going to answer clients' questions. Don't add anything personal, just things related to web design. And now I can just turn off the search and add it. Also include pricing. You know my pricing. Per page, site, site, etc. So let's just send it and let's see what it comes back with. This we can take and then feed it to Lovable and it's going to add that to a prompt. So it's going to use that. So as you can see, it's looking for some framework pricing. I'm not sure why it does, but whatever. And now here is a Webflowing high-level summary, Webflowing design and ships conversion of websites and landing pages in modern code tools like Framer and Lovable. Uh, core service Framer websites, that's correct. High-end motion sites in Lovable, that's also correct. Collect, correct. Uh, yeah, it has process, iterator build. Yeah, everything looks very, very like what I would do. So now what I can give you typically around nine for a concise conversion focused. And yep, that's about correct. And it even says like, who is it for? Yeah, I do work with startups. If I go to Go Web Fluent, which is my agency's website, you can see that building websites for SaaS and startups. So I'm pretty happy with what it writes here. Quick answers to the chatbot can give. And also we want to just now copy everything and uh, give all this as a context for a chatbot. And now let's just remove the links here. And let's send it. So it says it did update it. Let's now refresh our page and see how it handles our questions right now. So let's go here and ask, hello, how much is a website with five pages? And let's see what it answers if it follows the instructions that Lovable is supposed to. The pricing for a multi-page website with five pages typically determined during the discovery phase. Uh, generally it takes around I mean, I didn't provide a pricing. Let's ask for how about pricing for a landing page. And now a conversion focused landing page is priced around $900. Yeah, as you can see, it does include it. Uh, I want to book a call. I want to book a call. And let's see if it answered that. That's great. Okay, let's add to the context if a user wants to book a call, suggest them this link. You can type something, okay, suggest them this link. But also after you answer any user's questions, you should say something like suggest. Um, I'd like to suggest getting a quick call. It should only take around 10 to 30 minutes to chat about your business and explore how we can work together. And here's the call link. And I would send it and see if it applies. Okay, it says that it did. Let's refresh our lovable page and let's say again, hey, I'd like to book a call. And let's see what it answers to us. Great, you can easily book a call by visiting. Uh, yeah, it's it messed it up a little bit. Let's say 
fix the answer when someone asks to book call. So basically you can do that and then it's going to fix that. And just like that, this is how you can have a beautiful website done in Lovable using AI just by talking to AI. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.